Welcome back to the second episode of our Globe Trotter Challenge, and we are just here with Piper. If you are not part of the Raven family, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can join in and become part of the Raven family. If you hit that notification bell, it's going to remind you when new episodes go live on the channel. My name is Misty, and let's go ahead and jump in right away here and just get started. As you can see, she is just really upset that she's having to garden but we have to harvest piper we have to grind we need some money yes ma'am we do so we are just on our lot here with our tent and we are needing to get money because as we know we have about 74 simoleons here and we need to have money to knit we need to have money to survive and she has to try to get some emotional control for this challenge and i'm just currently looking to see if there are any local fishing spots around where she currently lives and it is not looking like that is the case i want her to go ahead and sell these produce items for some extra money and we're gonna get her knitting i believe right away off the beginning here but first things first let's get her a trash can because we do have enough money now to afford a trash can and then we can throw away that nasty plate that's been sitting there for days. So we'll just get her the least expensive one here and we'll get it in red so it matches. And as we know she is a knitting queen. She just picked that knitting skill up super quickly and she just flies through the knitting. So she's like zooming through that. And we love that for us because the faster she can get through these knitting projects, the faster we get to make ourselves some money. So as you can see, Piper has finished her project and she is just heading over to the local park. She is wanting to check and see if anyone is over there, if anyone has maybe cooked anything. And if so, she is going to see if she could possibly have a bite of their food that they've maybe cooked. And if not, she's going to go ahead and grill something of her own. And it does look like there is a plate of food here. So she's just going to go ahead and help herself to a little bit of the leftovers here. And then she'll harvest some of the things that are in the area. And it does look like there's also something over there in the corner that she can dig up. So we're just going to go ahead and let her do that. And there is an option here that she can sell this plate to the local shops. So we're gonna go ahead and do that as well and see if she can get some extra money off of that. So that might help get us some extra funds as well. I know she didn't make it, but we can still go ahead and sell it to the local shops. So she is just enjoying herself a little bit of this food and a little bit of peace and quiet this evening. It is about 9.50 in the evening. She's just, she's feeling a little bit, well, not really all that tired. So I may go ahead and let her actually knit another beanie. So we'll get her to knit one more beanie and then we will list that on Plopsy. And then we'll call it a night. She's like, okay, let's do this. I'm feeling like I got my stomach filled up I'm feeling like I can probably get one more project out of myself. I'm feeling inspired to do so. She's feeling a little bit playful. She's going to make this one last beanie before bed. And it says she's had a funny conversation. She's enjoying the fresh air. She thinks the food that she had was pretty tasty. She needs time to recharge because she's an introvert and she needs some alone time. She is appreciating the details. She likes to take in the little details. And she's irritated from her premenstrual syndrome. So she is about to start her cycle. And she's seeing red. So any meddling sims better watch out. And she is, as you can see, just flying through this project. She is finishing this beanie really quickly. And as soon as she gets this done, we will go ahead and list it on Plopsy for sale. Uh -huh. And then we will head her in to bed in her lovely tent there. 
but she is feeling all sorts of different emotions this evening. It is about midnight, so we definitely want to go ahead and get her into bed. And then tomorrow she has a very busy day planned and she is super proud of herself for finishing that. So let's go ahead and get her to list that on Plopsy and hopefully she will get that for, um, you know, up for sale and someone will want to purchase that from her. And she's just running on home. Oh, and she stops and she's like, oh, I should harvest those tomatoes. I didn't even see that. And since she is about to go ahead and start her cycle, we should probably go ahead and get her the products that she's going to need for that. Um, so I'll go ahead and send her off to the wonderful store and we will get her the products that she needs for that. Otherwise, she's going to be in a world of trouble. So we will go ahead and send her away for that. And then when she comes back, she will list that beanie on Plopsy, harvest those tomatoes, and we will shoot her into her tent for sleep. And then in the morning um, to the onsen bathhouse. And she's going to take a peek and a gander there over there. And that <laughs> is know. where our day is going to begin. So I will see you guys in the morning. As you can see, it is early the next morning. It's about 8.30 and she is having an erratic moment. And she is harvesting these plants. It is raining, but she is definitely in an erratic moment. Um, she is feeling uncomfortable and she is talking to her plants in an erratic way. She clearly is not in the best frame of mind today, but she is trying and she also needs to go to the loo. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and let her head herself over to this public washroom here and then she can use the washroom and she can hide. She's hiding in her tent. Oh, the poor dear. She's not having a good morning. Okay. She is erratic. She is just thinking to herself, why today of all days do I have to feel like this? I wanted to go to the bathhouse today and I wanted to see the sights and I wanted to, you know, go and I wanted to relax. And here I am, you know, having an off day and, you know, she's just, she's not, she's not having a good day. So we're going to go ahead and sell all of this produce. She has, um, you know, clearly she's struggling. I'm also going to get her to eat some of these tomatoes. She is feeling a little bit peckish. So I'm going to get her to finally, now that she's come out of her tent, we're going to have her go over here to the washroom. She's going to use the washroom. And then I'm going to have her eat a couple of tomatoes to get her hunger up. And hopefully she'll feel a little bit better after that takes place. And she'll be in a better frame of mind to go ahead and maybe travel so that we can get her to the bathhouse because she did have plans to go to the bathhouse today and hopefully her mood will improve. Well, what you doing, Piper? Go ahead and head over to the washroom there and we will get you in there so you can hopefully feel better. The poor thing. Now she's feeling bored. You know, her emotions are all over the map. They really, really are. She's needing to dance. Okay, that's making her feel a little better, but she's uncomfortable from her cycle. All right. Her cycle's really doing a number on her. Oh, dear. And she's decided she wants to shower in the rain. Oh, but let's go ahead and travel and see if we can take her to the bathhouse. Um, <laughs> see how that goes. So we have arrived here at the bathhouse. We are going to let her go in here and... We're going to, first and foremost, I do want to go to these vending machines. I want to get her some things out of the vending machine. And if we go to the bits and bobbles one, we should be able to get her some things for those creatures that keep attacking her. So let's get her some things to get her prepared against the creepy crawlies. That is the first thing. We don't have a whole lot of funds, but we should be able to get a couple of things, a couple of bottles of things that will keep the critters away from us. So we know she wants to hike and do these kind of things. So if we prepare ourselves, that would be best. So we'll just get a couple of these things here. And I think that would do it. 
And she's like, oh yes, these are the things that I needed and I am feeling so prepared now. Nothing's going to be able to hurt me. I'm going to be able to go out and hike. I'm going to be able to go on walks. It's going to be so great to be able to go out there and not worry about all these things attacking me. Like, look at me be prepared. This is amazing. So now she's feeling all super confident and prepared about that. She is feeling a little bit uncomfortable because as we know, she is a Sim that likes, you know, being by herself, but, um, she's also feeling unchallenged because she's a bit of a genius and she's not, she's not feeling, um, like she's being challenged enough mentally. Um, anyway, <laughs> On top of all of that, she's showering. We're gonna get in here and we're going to relax in this hot spring. And we're going to take in this beautiful scenery as we relax and just let the day kind of melt away and try to just take it easy. And she's like, oh, she's feeling grossed out from using the public restroom. And she's trying to get used to other people being around but other than that, I think she is really enjoying being here at the bathhouse. It is a lovely place to relax. And she's like, okay, this could be something I could get used to. I could totally get used to this life. Laying here in this hot springs, relaxing in this beautiful scenery with the snow all around and the trees and the fresh, crisp air. Like, this is the life. Mind you, she's cramping and she's hungry. So we will get her to go before we leave and we'll get her something out of the vending machine to eat. But she's just spending a little bit of time relaxing here and conversating with some of the other people that are here in the hot springs, even though that does make her a little bit uneasy, I think. You know, she's like, okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, it's really nice to meet you. Um, yeah, okay, well, thanks for um, the conversation. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go and kind of have a look around. So that's exactly what she's gonna do. We're going to go and have her look around a little bit and I'm going to actually, um, have her get something to eat out of the vending machine. Uh, why don't we actually go down and get you something out of the hot one? So we're gonna get her something to eat out of the hot vending machine as opposed to the cold vending machine just because I think there's a little bit more of a selection. So we're gonna get her a hot corn soup. So we'll go ahead also and get her, she's like, oh, I hate gardening. I don't know what made her think of gardening, but she thought about gardening and it really upset her. I'm also going to go ahead and get her this Black Five burger and let her eat that. So she had a burger and a soup. So we'll let her eat that as well. And it looks like um, someone has wanted to purchase our beanie. So as soon as she's done with this burger, we will head her back home so that she can sell that beanie. That is super exciting that she's already made a sale with the beanie. It's the one she did really late last night. Oh, and now she's sad and she's oversensitive and she has to brush her teeth. Oh. Okay, let's let her brush her teeth before we go. Brush your teeth and then we'll leave and we'll go sell for 62 Somalians, guys. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so we'll go home and we'll sell that. That's amazing. All right, Piper. That's awesome. I'm so proud of her. Okay, we, so we have officially arrived back here at the house and she is just going to go ahead and uh, ship this beanie on Plopsy for 62 simoleons. So she's gonna go and ship that. I am super excited about the fact that she has sold her first beanie it is that blue one that she did last night and we just made 62 simoleons and instantly she's having an erratic yeah, meltdown. So while she is working on some knitting, I am just going to get her a couple of things for her lot. I would like to get her a toilet and a shower and this is from the Ravishing Filthy Fabulous Rags to Riches pack. 
um, of custom content. And if you haven't seen that um, CC pack, I highly recommend it. So I will link that in the description box below and you can go check that out. Um, but it is a amazing pack of CC and there is two parts to it. Um, the second part is currently, I think, on early access only, um, but the first part is public. And then the, um, so we'll get a toilet, we'll get the shower, and that way she won't have to use the public washroom any longer. And that will hopefully help her with her being upset at having to use that public washroom. So that will be fantastic. So we're gonna do everything in red because we sort of have this red theme going for her. I don't really know why <laughs> I picked red for her, but it just seems to work. So we will get her that and we're gonna go ahead and let her finish up this little beanie here. And then once she finishes that, we will see what Piper wants to get up to, but now she officially has herself a toilet and a shower, so we are getting closer to meeting what we need for our little tasks here so that she can get herself a part-time job. So let's let her use that toilet, and then she's going to go ahead and talk to her plants. So you are going to notice Piper does talk to her plants a lot, even though she doesn't necessarily like gardening. She doesn't necessarily like people all that much either. So she talks to her plants a lot. She tells them all of her adventures throughout the day about getting attacked by bats, by being, getting attacked by giant centipedes. Anything that happens to her in her adventure, she comes home and she tells her plants all about it. She needs someone to talk to and someone to vent to. So all of her erratic stories and all of her erratic ideas that come up, guess who gets to hear those stories? That's right, her plants do. So she tells them everything. They hear it all. So currently now she's just doing a little bit of research on these plants because she wants to know a little bit more about them. And she's like, oh, I see. All right. Well, maybe they don't like hearing about all of my erratic stories, but they're going to hear about it anyway. I have to tell someone. I can't always just talk to myself. I mean, I do have, you know, pretty good listening skills. And honestly, I mean, I'm pretty intelligent. Talking to myself sometimes works out for the better. I mean, who better than to listen to myself than myself? Am I right? And she starts laughing. <laughs> But anyhow, it is the next morning. I have, as you can see, did get her a fire pit. So we're just gonna let her go ahead and get that started so she can warm herself. It is a brisk morning here. It is a little bit cool and overcast. So we're just going to let her start this fire here so she can warm herself up. So she's just gonna take advantage of having a fire pit here. She's like, oh, that's nice. It's feeling a little bit cool and she's thinking I wonder what I could get up to today you know somebody told me that if I went on that same hike trail that I went on before but I turned a different direction there's supposedly a temple out there that I could visit so she's just going to harvest her plants as she does every other day and she's thinking to herself maybe I should try and go and you know do that hike again but explore different areas of that hike and see if there's other things that I missed on the first, you know, round. I mean, I'm feeling confident this time. I've got all of the things that I need to keep myself from getting attacked. Oh, and besides, it's raining here. Maybe it won't be raining on the other side of town. So she's going to go ahead and plan a trip to go hiking and maybe then she can see that temple that everyone keeps talking about. So she is considering doing all of that temple searching, if you will. Oh, but first, what better thing to do at five o'clock, almost six o'clock in the morning than to get naked and shower in the rain? That's right, nothing. That's the best plan of all, naked, showering in the rain <laughs> oh piper what do you like <laughs> you're just gonna stand there naked in the rain she's like that's right because this is what erratic people do you're just gonna get used to it this is my life and you're just part of it okay well while she's naked in the rain let's go ahead and get her a grill and a busted up fridge from that pack 
because she is feeling peckish and she can't go on a hike on an empty stomach. So we'll go ahead and get her those couple of things. She can afford a couple of things. So we'll get her a grill so she doesn't have to run to the park every time she wants to eat. And we'll get her a fridge so that her food can be kept fresh. It's literally a busted up fridge as you'll come to see. But we'll get her that so that she can at least store her food. And um, then she can go ahead and have herself some food. And we will head out after that towards the temple. Okay, so Piper is finally dressed and she is going to get herself something quick to eat here. And then we are going to go ahead and head off to the other part of town. She has opted to have herself just a quick bowl of cereal here. And like I said, there is that busted up fridge and that barbecue grill that she can grill on. And now she has officially got herself a grill and a fridge, a toilet and a shower, herself a little crate she can sit on to knit and things or eat or whatever she'd like to do. And yeah, her house has finally come. Well, can we consider it a house? Probably not. But her area is definitely coming together. She's just reading the Wilderness Digest really quick just to make sure she can catch up on what creepy crawlies might be out there. And then we are heading off. So let's go ahead and head off to the park. And we are going to go once again and go on that hike to try to find the temple. So we have officially arrived here at the park and she is going to run up to the hiking trails and we are going to officially look for that temple. She has been told by several locals that it is up here on the trails and that she just has to turn off a different direction and she should be able to find it. So we are definitely hoping that she can find it here the correct way so we are going to hike to the temple and she's like I can't believe it's raining here too I didn't come prepared there's like no umbrella no nothing she doesn't have the best shoes for this hike she didn't really come prepared but you know she wants to come anyway and she's feeling quite playful so she's like we're gonna do it we're gonna go it doesn't really matter that I'm not really dressed appropriately She's like uncomfortably wet, <laughs> but that's okay. You know, she's like, we're gonna do it. I've already made these plans. I'm not turning back now. So here we head off in search of the temple. I mean, the fact that she's feeling very playful when it's in the middle of rain and, you know, overall she's in a pretty decent mood. She doesn't necessarily care for the fact that she's uncomfortably wet, but I mean, this is Piper we're talking about. Half the time when it's raining, she's naked. So, you know, she's decided she wants to go ahead and take a photo of Graveyard here. And off she goes, continuing on. So as you can see, Piper has continued on until she's made it to the temple. And she is like, what is this? Oh my God. Piper, you are at the temple naked. This is not okay. Put your clothes on. <sighs> you know... All right, so we're gonna have her make a wish here and then she's going to, I guess, since she's erratic, she's decided she is going to look at the clouds in the rain. Bruh. Like, it's raining, you're just getting rained on. So she's gonna go ahead and hike back because she has found the temple, she made herself a wish at the board there, and the only thing left to do really is to hike back. I mean, it is really starting to come down really hard and she's like, oh crap, like I have got to get myself out of here before it starts to thunderstorm or something worse because that's all we need is for her to get struck by lightning. That would be awful. And the way she has her luck, well, if anyone were gonna get struck by lightning, it would be Piper. So let's go ahead and head her back. We're hiking back to town. See, it seems that she's not the only one that doesn't get, um, you know, dressed. Clearly, you know, people around here don't mind nakedness, but she was fully naked at the temple and I just think people would probably frown upon that 
Piper, I just think that's probably not okay. So she's stopping and she's like, okay, which way did I come from? Because I've kind of gotten myself turned around. I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to be going. Just follow the trail and you'll get yourself back to where you came from. It can't be that difficult, love. Just keep going on the trail. The path will lead you back where you came from. Although I think you did go the long way around. No worries. And then as she's walking along, she hears something. And she's like, what is that? <gasps> oh, no, you don't. Not this time. I've come prepared. And she pulls out her spray and she sprays the creatures and they fly off. And she's like, ha, this is why I felt confident going on this walk today. Ha, 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 ha. And so she just keeps walking. She's so proud of herself. She's like, I knew it. I knew I was prepared. And she's so happy that she went ahead and purchased those things at the bathhouse because she would have gotten attacked if it weren't for the fact that she stopped and she made that special purchase. So she's so thrilled that she did that because that was all she would have needed was to get attacked three days in a row, right? Like first the bats, then the centipedes, and then whatever the heck that just was. So yeah, she is extremely proud of herself. Look, and she's feeling all inspired like, ha, 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 you couldn't get me. So yeah, we're loving that. She's just continuing on her walk. We are almost to the end here. She's just rounding the bend here. And she's like, really realizing that maybe this hike was probably a bad idea. She's like, my feet hurt, my back hurts. My clothes are wet. She's probably got some chafing going on. <laughs> if you want to be completely, let's just be brutally honest. She's uncomfortably wet. She has a leaking tampon. It wasn't a pleasant hike. She would have rather stay home. It would have been a much better use of her time. She's feeling oversensitive from being on her cycle. Like, honestly, she's realizing maybe today was not the best day for a hike. I mean, maybe not. She is happy that she saw the temple. She's happy that she can check that off her bucket list. But at the same time, she's like, today of all days, maybe wasn't the best day. Like, on the grand scheme of things, with the rain and everything else, maybe today wasn't the best day. Piper, maybe it wasn't the best day. I'm make a stop here at this washroom. We're just going to handle up on the female side of things, if you know what I mean. So let's just let her deal with that. Piper actually decided to go ahead and stop over at the bar here. Instead of going to the house, she was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I want to try looking for the local fishing spots. So I'm gonna go to the bar, I'm gonna order a drink. I know I'm hungry, but maybe I'll just have a little drink and it'll tide me over for now. I mean, I know a drink isn't super filling, but you know, it'll at least get something in my stomach. I mean, granted, it's only a liquid but it's better than nothing. So she's gonna have herself a drink. She's gonna get out of these wet clothes and she is going to look around and see if she can find the local fishing spot. Someone had told her that it was out here by the bar, that if she looked near the bar, that just across the street, she should be able to find a fishing spot. And so she is going to go over and see if she can find the fishing spot because she wants to see if she can try her hand at fishing. She's never really given it much of a try, but she'd like to. She heard that if you go fishing, sometimes it can be really relaxing and it's really good for calming. And as we know, you know, Piper needs to find some emotional control while we're out here. And so this is the area that it's supposed to be. Oh, I think I see somebody fishing over there. So let's go over here and see if we can join this person fishing. Maybe not join them, but at least go fishing. All right, and we will get her over here and see if we can get her fishing and if that will maybe get her a little bit closer to finding that emotional control that she needs. Because as of right now, Piper is really struggling with finding that emotional control. I mean, we're not really on much of a time crunch, I don't think, but it would be nice if we could get some emotional control. So she's just going to cast out her fishing rod here and we are going to see how she fares at fishing. 
And the fish are definitely out and they're definitely biting. And the gentleman next to her seems to be having quite a bit of luck with catching fish. But she, on the other hand, is really struggling. And it keeps telling her that she's not getting anything. Like she's going and catching things or thinking she is. But it does say here that it looks like the fish in this area are too crafty for Piper. But I want her to go ahead and try again. So she's going to move on the other side of the sign here. We're going to cast out the fishing pole again and we're going to see if we can hopefully catch something on this side of the fishing post sign and it does look like we got a message that our poor beanie that we made first did not sell so we're going to get her to relist that on Plopsy for sale again and see if we can get it to sell because we do want to see if we can get that to sell she finally caught a fish all right, and it looks like she caught a trout worth 21 simoleons. So look at that, Piper. You finally got some fishing skill. She caught herself a trout, and that is amazing. So I'm actually going to let her go ahead and stop fishing now, and we will let her go ahead and head home because she is feeling quite a bit peckish. She has leveled up to level 2 of her fishing skill, so I'm going to let her go ahead and head home now and stop fishing fishing we will go ahead and sell the trout we don't need to keep that in our inventory here so let's let her head to the house okay so she is just heading her way back home and she is feeling very confident after having such a lovely day out going to the temple catching a nice fish and oh, oh, shit. oh, oh no shit. Oh, what is that oh no Piper's under attack. What is that? Piper is under attack and has been injured by giant hornets. Are you freaking kidding me? Two days in a row, she has been attacked by creatures here in Mount Komarebi. She cannot catch a break. So she ran out of creature things. So Piper has made it back to the house. I feel super bad for her. She clearly is not well. It says, as bad as they said, those stingers, ugh, like a venomous knitting needle jabbing into Piper's skin. She has ocean eyes because her eyes are filled from tears. Um, she's dry, dry skin and she's overheating and she's glad to be home and she is um, a little bit drunk from her drink that she had at the bar. So she is in a bad way, guys. She really is in a bad way. But the biggest, baddest of it all is the giant hornets who have really done a number on her. And she was attacked and injured by the hornets. And she needed to have a jar of emergency emetic potion to help avoid future pain, which we don't have. She's going to be in pain for the next eight hours. So I really hope that she's okay. But I do think I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next one and until then i am going to fly for now bye ravens